Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I just want to do a quick unboxing and initial first look at these wireless headphones from Tautronics. So these are a new pair of headphones from Tautronics. I do have to thank Tautronics for sending these over to the channel for an honest review and first look. I do appreciate that. So these are the Sound Liberty 88 True Wireless Stereo Earbuds. And the model number is TT-BH088. And I'm going to open these up today. Again, do an unboxing, take a look at them, and then probably wear them for a few days, use them in a few different scenarios, and then I'll finish up on the tail end of this video kind of with my thoughts on, you know, do they sound good? How do they work on telephone calls, conference calls, those sorts of scenarios, listening to music? and you know kind of give you my feedback after i use them for a few days but we'll do the unboxing of this right now so it comes in this white box kind of the tautronics orange coloring there it says sound liberty 88 it's actually pretty nice packaging little booklet here activates your warranty get support um, here's a quick start guide basically Charging, how do you put them in your ears? How do you pair them to your phone? And then a little bit of information around, um, you know, like tapping. So volume up, volume down, uh, from forward, next track, play, pause, answering phone call, hanging up, all that stuff. Um, how do you activate Siri and all of that? And then there's a bigger user guide in here that goes over some more stuff in different languages. You do get a USB type C cable for charging the case. And obviously these are similar to uh, other of this same sort of headphones where you charge the case the case then charges the headphones. So this comes in a nice kind of matte black case. And then the headphones are right inside. If you take them out, the first thing you notice is they look a lot like AirPods. So very similar to an AirPod look. That same EarPod Apple style. And then they do have, like I said, that touch area at the top where you can um, use to play pause and all the different uh, settings. And then as you can see, there also is the contacts where when you place these in the case, then they'll charge. So let's go ahead and go ahead and open up Bluetooth settings. Go ahead and connect. It says they're connected. has some different ports, looks like an ear sensor. It's hard to tell since they're all black. But there's like a circular ear sensor right there. And then the standard ear pod look headphones. So overall, you know, very lightweight, not too heavy. Kind of pop right into the case like that to charge. The lid is magnetically kind of closed. And yeah, it does have some LEDs on the front to show the charge level of, I guess, the case. That's, that's nice. Like I said, USB-C on the back. Yeah, so, so that's what they look like. So again, you get this, you get the USB-C charging cable, and that's it. So what I'm going to do, I, since I paired these to the, the phone, is, like I said, I'll use these for a few days. In a couple of different scenarios, like I said, phone call, I will uh, y you listen to some music, that sort of thing. I'll use them with my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I'll probably also test them with my uh, Galaxy Note 20, just to ver you know see if it sounds any different or anything like that on Android. Um, sometimes the Android sounds a little different than iPhone, so uh, so maybe I'll, I'll check that out as well. So I'm going to hop over. Uh, so I'll do that and. 
you won't know. It'll go by quick for you because you're going to see the results and when I jump over to the computer. So let's hop on over there and finish up the review. So I've been using these for the past three, four days now in a couple different scenarios. I was listening to some music, using them for some conference calls, some Teams calls for work. I paired them with my computer. And first, I guess on the call side, they do have smart noise reduction, kind of as advertised here, uh, when it's talking about vocal response and you know how it sounds through phone calls. And they even mentioned on their website that you know, it's not active noise cancellation technology for the listening side of things, but it's for the speaker side of things, right? So you can see that there's a bunch of different speaker holes at the base of the headsets. And uh, I think that they sound really good on phone calls. I had a, asked a few people and they're like, hey, how do I sound? And they're like, hey, sounds really good, right? So um, so from that perspective, if we're going to use these for phone calls or voice over IP calls, I think that that will work pretty good because of, you know, the smart, smart noise reduction on the microphone side. So that's pretty cool. Um, the controls work pretty nice. So, you know, a combination of tapping and things like that on the headset, you can skip tracks, you know, do all sorts of different things. Uh, like I mentioned, kind of as you would expect on most headphones nowadays, they have some sort of touch control there, um, and that works fairly well. You can take one out and just use the left bud, or you can use just the right bud. You don't need to use them both at the same time, and it kind of switches back and forth, which is um, as you would expect, I guess. Uh, from a sound perspective, also pretty good. Listening to music was really good, actually. I think these almost sound a little better than my AirPods 2 um, from music perspective. I don't know. Uh, the, the shape of them is a little bit slightly different uh, on the tips and the direction of where the sound ports at the top are pointed. So maybe just for my ear, it points a little bit more into my ear canal, and maybe that's why the sound is a little bit better to me, I think. Um, but I was impressed, actually, for these for the cost of these. Um, they perform pretty well uh, from that perspective. Uh, like I said, uh, comfort-wise, uh, they fit my ears really well. I like the fact that they're black blends in a little bit better than having you know white or some other thing like that kind of sticking in your ears and i did get a lot of battery life out of these um you know it's a little bit diminished when you're using them on phone calls uh you know about i think i was about half the time because i was talking quite a bit as well so i only would get a couple hours before the battery was getting low of talking um, but if you're just listening to music you know upwards of five hours uh, you know, obviously you can charge it, you know, three or four or five times by plugging them back into the case. So you get a lot of battery, you know, a lot of battery supply as part of this, right? So the case can charge it multiple times. You don't have to keep plugging it in. It should last you quite a, quite a bit just running off the case battery. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these. I think they're a solid value for sure, especially that they're you know, black in color, and a lot of people like black headphones, and, you know, some of the knockoff AirPod clones are just still in in white colors and things like that. Tautronics seems like they have a solid build quality here. So definitely something you should take a look at if you're in the market for some true wireless headphones, and you want to balance sound quality with, you know, the ability to take conference calls and voice over IP calls, and have, you know, good reproduction of your voice on the other end. Something to consider. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll link to this in the description. This is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>